Rin Chu Wangmo thought she'd spend her life tilling the soil on her family's small farm in eastern Bhutan. Although she was an excellent student, a higher education was far beyond her family's means. Uh, since I'm from Pearl Bank, uh, uh, I have no, um, no any uh, income to wear on from my family. So, um, and to, uh, for, for, for the studies, uh, I, have no, uh, um, I have no income. Today, Rinchen is the first person from her village to pursue a higher education. She'll soon be graduating with a certificate in electrical engineering. The government of Bhutan, with assistance from the Asian Development Bank, has supported the construction and expansion of six vocational training institutes around the country. At the Kurutang Vocational Institute, which Rinchen attends, 180 students, one-third of them women, train as electrical and mechanical engineers. They come from the economically weaker society, but then after that, uh, when they get employed, they life, their life is changed. They get to uh, work, they, they get paid, they survive on their own, they, they even support their siblings, they support their own family, they raise their own family. So that way, I've seen many of our graduates are doing very good. Admission is competitive, but for those who qualify, the education is totally free. Bhutan is currently undergoing a hydroelectric power boom, so jobs for trained electricians like Rinchen are virtually assured. For recent institute graduate Nima Dorji, an electrical engineer with a cell phone company, new skills made him highly sought after in the job market. I think uh, in Bhutan, uh, other than uh, outside country, in Bhutan, technical person, I can say, job is always secured. Bhutan used to import most of its skilled workforce in fields like engineering. But by recognizing the potential of its economically disadvantaged youth, the country is fostering its own talent to meet its development needs far into the future. For Rinchen, her future ambition goes beyond herself. Once she secured a job, she plans on supporting her younger sisters as they pursue a higher education. If I can help uh, them to pursue for, uh, for, for these studies, I'll try to, to that me. Rinchen has been able to rise far beyond the confines of what life offered in her village. And she hopes that soon, her siblings will be on the same path to success.